Today we are going to perform the demonstration, a simple and easy demonstration of AKS. We are going to deploy an AKS cluster, which is a managed Kubernetes service. And we'll be deploying a multi-container application on it, where which includes a web front end and a Redis instance. And uh, it will be running. So let's go ahead and do it without wasting any more time. So you need to go to the search bar, type Kubernetes, click on service, click on add. And here, just like any other resource in the Azure, you need to provide few information. So let's let me create the resource group for this and I'll call it cube. RG. Okay, now it's asking the name for my Kubernetes cluster. Let me call it cluster cluster one. East US is fine with me. See, there are various versions available. 1.17 is in preview as of now. So let's go for 1.15. That's the default one we are choosing just for uh, uh, this demonstration because in this series before we go ahead and talk about so many other things in the Kubernetes as you have seen the first video the overview the pod the communication flow and in the previous video we also talk about the AKS now this is just for the understanding to take a feel how we create the cluster and things involved and how we can use it how we can uh, configure the deployment check the nodes so this is what it is and we're going to choose the node size well three is recommended but this is our uh, subscription and we do not want to pay extra so we, this is just a demonstration for the lab purpose so one is more than enough for us now if you change it you cannot change the size to any of the vm which has less than two cpus so that would be okay let it be two so the th and you don't pay for the master node right so you got to remember these three things you don't pay for the master so it is okay you only need to worry about the worker nodes and worker nodes ms recommends three worker nodes as a resiliency not two it's three and you cannot choose a node with less than two cpus all right we have chose all those let's click on node pools all right now <clears throat> let's select the default information here we are not messing up with anything else right now uh, we require a service principle this is the authentication method so it will take some time to create a service principle in this particular series we will also create a, a video on service principle though i have already created it on managed identity and service principle but uh, if i uh, get the enough time I'm gonna create it once again for this particular series then it's a networking if you go to the advance you can create this cluster in your existing but that's fine integrations and create it it requires a log analytical workspace for the log logging purpose monitoring container monitoring we'll see that as well in this current demo where the log is coming in okay from the from the uh, insight there is an uh, option in Kubernetes uh, blade on Azure from where we can go and check the logs which is under monitoring insights so it is going through the validation right now it will take few seconds or a few minutes maybe we will create it and we'll get inside and check what other options we have to work around so let's click on create and sit back and relax all right so it's been deployed as you can see let's go to the resource so this is our cluster our kubernetes cluster and uh, to manage a kubernetes cluster we use kubectl we talked about it uh, this is the kubernetes command line client kubectl kubectl and uh, this is our very easy and demo to get family around the AKS. so rather than installing everything in our local system we can easily use cloud shell 
cube kettle is already inside. Okay. So I'm just creating a storage account for the cloud shell and then we'll try to connect with our cluster. First we need to get the credentials and then we'll connect with our cluster and we'll do the things like getting the information of nodes, getting the information of pods, but you know we have not run any pod right now so it wouldn't give us anything but we'll be sure once we run the cube cuddle get pods there is no pod and after we put our many first file or yaml file for the application that we talked about at the beginning that we are deploying in our cluster and then we'll see what our pods are running inside it okay all right cool so it is uh, initializing right now so let's wait and meanwhile we can come here we can talk about node pools from here we can increase the number of nodes add node pool for now there is only one uh, here we can upgrade the uh, Kubernetes version here we can scale all right and you can go because it, it says right here cluster supports multiple nodes you will need to scale your cluster node pools individually by going to the node pools and you can see here recommended more resilient cluster three nodes as i was talking at the beginning here it is the networking you can go to the advanced and integrate your network here is the inside where we talked about the monitoring okay i think i just where is my shell let's get back here come on what is wrong with here All right, we are here. Hmm. You're on the cloud drive. Now, we need to get the credentials with A Z A K S get credentials. Okay. Resource group. Uh, what was the resource group for? It was QBRG, I think. Hmm. What deployment it is? QBRG cluster one. So it was QBRG and the name of the cluster is cluster one. Okay. Okay. Credential. Okay, that's the spelling mistake I did. Correct this. Credentials. Okay, got it. So we are there. If we do, it's the okay cluster one. Now, if I do kubectl get nodes, it should show one node because we selected one right it, yeah it says aks agent pool one node which is ready to roll if you do cube cuddle get pods it shouldn't show anything there we go nothing all right now what will we do we are going to run or deploy a manifest file okay 
and this is something that I have not written this is something that I have borrowed from the Microsoft documentation okay so what we need to do we need to create a file YAML file Azure vote dot YAML and here I need to paste the file so this is the manifest file if you see this is a this is the deployment kind of manifest file where we are deploying the redis this is the back and we are deploying uh front okay and we do we are also deploying service and if you go down there is one more service which is a load balancer so let's do this come back and to deploy this we just need to run cube cuddle apply give the file path file name enter you see deployment created back and created front end created created so there were like four uh, if we go to the manifest file there were like four different codes that I showed you two for the services two for the back end and the front end all are created now if I go and do cube cuddle get uh, service I showed you there was uh, there was first uh, deployment let's do deployment it should show there is one deployment for the back end it is deployed front it is still running I think we can also do get service if you remember there was like two for the services load balance and cluster IP now we can also do cube cuddle get service where Azure vote front because you see this was done front and we can put it on the watch and we got the external IP so it's already been done okay now with the help of this external IP if I try to browse let's see what happens oh my god there is a wrap Azure voting app click on cat it will count here you see it should four or five how many docs you got you can have this running application with the database at the back end you can reset it you can do it again so within like few clicks you have a running application with the front end back end database and everything in your kubernetes cluster and let me clear this And if you do cube cuddle get pods, you have two pods running right now. See? So that's how it goes. Now let me minimize this and go to the resource again, I think. Kubernetes service right here. And go to insight. In, in shites, in sites, in shites, I don't know.
All right, insights here. This is the monitoring pane. And here we can add the filters. Okay. Namespace. Okay. And all cube systems. View containers. Now here you can see we got the containers right here, which is under monitoring. Azure vote back and vote front. And from here, you can choose the logs and you'll be landed on the logs. Right now, nothing is here, but in a while it will start. Logs. It should show some logs. There it is. You can see. These logs include the standard out, standard errors, you see. So from here you can do the monitoring. And now, once we have the feel of this Kubernetes cluster, how to create it and uh, some important things about it, we can go ahead and get rid of it. This is just to get the overview, to get the information, a feel about the AKS. But before I delete it, there's something I want to show you that is resource group. You must see, I only created this one. And this one created by the Azure for me. And this resource group includes this much of resources which is created by Azure for me so that I can spin my Kubernetes cluster with ease. You can see there is one public IP got spin up for me, uh, agent pool security group, there is a route table got created, there is VMSS. So your uh, Kubernetes cluster doesn't work on VM there are VMSS gets created. There is virtual network got created a load balancer we saw that right uh, public IP so this many resources got created and this is the name cube RG for my resource group in which I created the cluster and this random name created by Azure for you and it happens all the time it is not like just happened with me it happens all the time so this is a little bit about Kubernetes and thank you for watching you have a good day